my new bike came in and now i'll be doing a review and assembly video it's kind of late right now but i'm probably ho hoping to get some of it assembled now so enjoy this review of the schwinn bike i don't really know the exact like model or name but let's get into it as we look into the box we see some basic bike materials this is a hybrid bike so the tires i expect the tires to be a little thicker because like i'm used to like this old mountain bike we got from the yard sale and like the tires on this thing are pretty thick but i'm mostly riding the streets anyways so some thinner tires and a lot of zip ties to cut so i'll try to do that i have a yoink to the first tire out and it's pretty big and the zip ties were hard to cut with these little zip ties. let's compare it to this other tire that we have yeah oh, just lie that right there hmm looks to be a little bigger than that it's compared to this one this is my brother's bike a little nishiki over here Ow. hmm looks like mine's a little big <laughs> now we got the bike out of the box I guess they wanted to be really careful and not damage anything, which is something that I will say in the review is good so far. This thing came from Amazon, but whoever packaged it did a good job of like making sure everything stayed nice and, you know, undamaged. And the tires, I kind of like the smell of tires. <laughs> so the tire smelling good is another good thing. Plus the gear's already assembled. So like I've never put together a bike before, but this looks pretty easy to me, so. Basically, the only part that looks like I have to put on is like the front wheel and handlebars, pedals, you know, basic bike stuff. So, there she blows with everything off of her. Must say, I really like the color blue that it came in. Kind of a blue guy. Kind of a darker color guy, but anyways, that's not important. Let's look into this like owner's manual or whatever and try to find out how to put this together. Look at that wild fox. We're just chilling. Ah, oh. hey, I got it on camera for like a good two seconds, and then it Another darted off. There. Another where? Up on top. I don't see it. That's actually the first time I've seen like some next level deforestation going on over here in the back of the hood. I'm trying to clear out a new street. The other day the wood was probably even higher than that. Looks like they're starting to get the road like pretty smoothed out and everything. Dang. Here she is, finished and assembled. We didn't use one part, but I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We'll test it out tomorrow when it's light. So, it's a few days later on a beautiful November afternoon. There's my brother trying to fix a tire on a scooter. Anyways, I basically just, last thing I did was put this thing on for my old bike. Which served me good for many years. It was a good mongoose. And the seat's like pretty ginormous. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Anyways, putting it together wasn't all that hard, except the left pedal kept giving me trouble. It kept like coming off like in the middle of my bike ride, and it was kind of annoying. I had to like walk my bike all the way back home one day. But anyways, it's a good bike. I'd probably give it like a 8 out of 10. The only annoying thing is like when you're shifting gears uphill, it's kind of like hard. But maybe that's the same for like every bike. Well, it wasn't the same for that bike. But anyways, good quality bike. Now, uh, Caleb can film me riding off in the sunset. Get to where you can see me going down the street. Astro, show us what you got. Oh! Oh! Dude, that was so clean. That was so clean. So we all got like the little hats and everything. Brooks, how you doing, fool? I'm doing great. My man Connor better film us from down up. I mean, up in the bleachers. He's not going. From down up in the bleachers. <laughs>